Hi guys, how are you? I'm Ivy from Ivy Pink Made, and I'm so excited to be a guest here on Anne's channel. And today we're gonna make a really easy project, which are UV resin earrings. And they look like this. This is what the final project looks like. We're gonna be using some glitter, some pigment, UV resin, and UV light. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm putting down this mat from Catch. Um, I will add a link below in descriptions, but what I really like about it is that it's waterproof, so if resin spills, like it doesn't go through the mat. It just helps keep my work area clean. So the mats come in different sizes, so depending on what I'm working on, I'll use a different size. So this one is a pretty small project, that's why I'm just using the roll. Here's some supplies that you'll need, a silicone mold, and then tape, I'm using a UV tape here, and PDB UV resin, and then this is PDB Mischief uh, Diamond Glass, and then Wild Thing Glitter, also from PDB, and this last one is like a pigment, and it's called Seduction. A mixing cup and then a silicone stirrer and then these are the earrings that I purchased it is from the jewelry shop line at Hobby Lobby and it is part of their like UV resin section that they have that's fairly new I believe so that's where I got these earrings from all you need to do is place your earrings on top of the silicone mold. I put a little bit of tape just to hold them down in place, but it's really up to you. You can also use tape on the back of the earrings as well if you don't want to use a silicone mold as the base. Once you have it all taped up, go ahead and mix your glitters with the UV resin. So I'm just using a really, really small amount. You don't need a whole lot. And you can add clear later if you wanted to, you know, top it off. Um, so I'm just going to take some PDB UV resin and then I'm putting it into the mixing cup. And I like using a silicone stir because it's easier to clean and you can just reuse it over and over. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pigment seduction and this is kind of a unique pigment because it's more like foil. So you can use chunks of it if you wanted to, but if you put it into the resin and you keep mixing and mixing, it'll get like the particles will get smaller and smaller um, and once I mix that you can see how it's kind of like in chunks right now so as you mix it it'll get finer now I'm going to add some wild thing glitter and I picked glitters and pigments that's kind of within the same like color family ish a little bit so they kind of go together Okay, once it's all mixed together, I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it into the earrings mold and then just kind of fill it in. So when you're taking the resin, make sure that you kind of keep a thin coat. You don't want it to go over the metal. You want it to stay inside the shape. So to give the earrings more texture, I'm gonna take the Mischief Dragon Glass and take tweezers. You wanna use tweezers because this is like really thin glass, so you could cut yourself. So I'm using tweezers and I'm just gonna embed it more into the resin. So I feel like the Dragon Glass adds more depth into the earrings in comparison to just resin embedded in it. And I love how it will show the texture when it catches the light.
So the last thing that I'm going to do is add seduction and this is so cool because the color really really changes and you can pick up pieces because it's kind of like like very very thin foil so i am just placing that into little spots like harder spots to get the dragon glass into so like in the corners and stuff like that and it will just really add more depth and also color and i love how much color this adds because it really really changes with light once you're happy with your piece and you're all done you're just going to take a uv nail lamp and set it for try it first for 90 seconds and if it's hard after that then great if not just put it in for like another 30 and this is what it looks like when it's all done see how fun the texture is it came out beautiful hope you enjoyed this project today please like and subscribe to get notifications for more videos